trying to find a spot I could hook my camera. It'd be great if I could hook my camera up to the cart and then just roam around. But I don't have any elastic band, so I'll just have to hold it. So hey, what's happening guys? I am in Dollarama Zone, AKA Dollarama. It's a great place to come to get wholesale brand name stuff uh, to sell on Amazon. So um, a lot of people ask me, well, when you're there, what do you usually buy? Where do you go? Well, I've always said I scan everything, okay? So um, the first key that you should do when you come in is go up and down every aisle and use your eyes as the litmus test for products that you should uh, scan. So if the product looks like, you know what, that looks like a value, that's got some size, that looks cool, unique, um, that looks like a good find, what's that? If you're asking yourself questions, stop, take a look, feel it, pick it up, um, then scan it. So for example, here's a product. I just walking up an aisle. It's a customizable, reversible magnetic mirror. So it's unique, it looks like it has value. I'd probably pay, you know, if my daughter wanted something like that, I'd probably pay 15, 20 bucks for something like that. I think that's would be a cool elementary gift. Now, I'm not scanning anything today because I only have the one phone with me. So uh, that's just a tip. You know, so you just keep going up and down the aisles and you're looking at products that look like they have some value. Second thing you wanna do is determine, is that a product you can actually sell? Is the price tag removable? Is it a brand, a big brand uh, that you could sell online? All those sorts of things. Uh, you don't want to necessarily um, Where is it? Yeah, you don't want to necessarily sell things that are branded by the dollar store because obviously you can't get the price tags out so people are going to notice the wrong sticker price. You have to be able to remove that and sell it for full retail, not the wholesale price that you usually get when you're in this particular store. So you definitely want to make sure that you can remove the sticker from the product and then that the product has value, okay? So, I mean, there's at least 10 aisles in this store that you can go up and down and up and down and that you can uh, find products that would sell well. Aisles that I start in, usually I head over to toys first, then I'll hit up like baby products because baby is a, a gated category, so you got to get ungated. But if you get ungated, then uh, it opens up a lot of potential um, from there from baby if I find anything good like you usually can find Fisher Price Gerber um, you can find Obal lots of cool things there that have value high perceived value as well because they're safety uh, safely designed especially the brand names like that so usually a big return on an investment there Toys, I like toys because you can find brand name toys, usually from anywhere from a dollar to four dollars. That again, move quicker, uh, have a quick return. So toys, I'm in the toil right now. And there's lots of selection to choose from. You know, take for example, these whisper things, you know, scan them all. Some of them don't have a big return. The, the, the thing with toys is it's ungated, so anyone can sell for the most part most of the toys that are in the toy section. So um, you're competing with a lot of other FBA sellers when you're in the toy section. So keep that in mind. But check out these Paw Patrol lunch uh, pails already sealed in a bag. Scan something like that. That probably would sell well on Amazon, especially come September. So you might buy all of these and then ship them to Amazon in like early, early August. And those would probably move fairly quick for September. So those are just unique finds. I've never seen those here before. So the likelihood of someone else selling those is probably pretty low. Got something here, like an air gun. It's not Nerf, so it's a cheaper product, but 
it's got the actual sticker that's removable so you can actually remove that sticker so that's a good thing but it's probably cheap online so it's probably not that expensive um good brands in the toy section to look at are obviously anything that is you know cartoon related disney related so miles from tomorrowland is disney related what else um other good brands marvel marvel is gated so dc products are gated so mm -hmm. anything like that is gated supergirl is gated you have to get unrestricted for mattel ghostbusters is mattel so it's gated um, this is unique. I've never seen this before. Miraculous Ladybug Zang Bandai. Very cool. I'll check that. There's a few. They're unique. Unique, unique is good. Um, there's Transformers here. Big Hero 6. Not gated. Skylanders. This is an interactive toy with uh, your computer. Obviously with a program and an app. Those are heavily, heavily saturated with other sellers. So I wouldn't necessarily launch that. Zootopia. Okay. Lots of products here. There's lots of brands and toys that are available to sell. You just got to get good at looking at products that actually have some profit potential. So that's the key. Once you find stuff that has profit potential that has a good ranking when you scan it then you just want to accumulate inventory and inventory is the key now obviously products in this store are going to become um, influenced by the market a lot of other sellers so uh, keep that in mind when you're shopping in dollar stores the other thing you can do is you can look at products that are only a dollar here and see what kind of potential they have at maybe bundling them together as a set. So take a product like that. Maybe there's a variety of books that you can create your own listing for, package three of them up, buy them for a buck each, and then um, resell them for maybe $25 or $20 or something to that nature. So you're turning what would be a $3 purchase into a $30 purchase and it's unique as long as you're willing to go and buy some barcodes and create your own listing, you can do that as well. A little more advanced, but something you can do. <clears throat> so after baby, I head over to toys. Then from toys, I head over to the book aisle. I try to go through the books and see what kind of books they have that are worth selling as well. Uh, dollar stores usually have books for brand new. So you can sell them in a new category for three dollars four dollars one dollar 125 you name it so there's lots of choices there from there from the book aisle usually you want to go over to the pet aisle take a look in the pet aisle see if there's anything there Something like that. Okay, that's a portion pacer. There's usually a few pet products. Again, pet is another product market that usually attracts higher profit value because it's a popular category to, to buy from uh, in Amazon. Uh, so, so, so buyers usually, you know, it's, 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 you know, that aisle is well frequented. So from there, I'll, I'll go to, there are some secret aisles I won't tell you about, some secret areas that I won't tell you about that I have some gems that I try to keep to myself. Um, but I'm putting those in my course for retail arbitrage. So um, take a look there as well. Uh, what else do we got? You can go to the hardware or the homeware aisle. It's always something unique there. Popcorn cups, etc. Shot glasses, mugs, cool mugs. When you're in 
<clears throat> the aisle of like hardware, glassware. When you're in the glassware aisle, make sure you're looking at products that come packaged. If they're packaged with a box, like let's say you're buying some glasses or shot glasses, but for ones that come in a pre, pre come in a box because they will actually be protected and you won't have to worry about um, protecting them any further. That being said, Amazon may recommend something like um, bubble wrap. So they may say, well, you can do it yourself. This product has to be bubble wrap or we can do it for you. <clears throat> Nails. Cosmetic section is a good section to hit up. A lot of the own Dollarama brands are in here, but you can usually find some other stuff that are not Dollarama. You just got to look up and down the aisle. And usually have some unique kids brands in here in the cosmetic section. Something like this might have like a $15 value on Amazon, but here you can get it for $4. <clears throat> After a dozen visits to the store, you start to get an idea of what brands are private label for Dollarama versus what brands are obviously big brand names like Disney. So check that out, it's $4. Some sort of lip gloss set slash light up set. I don't know, something like that might be worth like 12, 13 bucks. You can get it for four. What else do we got here? So the beauty section is always a good section to come to, the cosmetic section. <clears throat> Find things like curling irons in here, heavy duty curling irons usually have a brand name to them. Jerry Redding, scan something like that, should have a good perceived value, something like that might be $25 on Amazon, you can get it here for four. So the beauty aisle is, again, look at everything with your eyes and see what stands out to you, and then from there, scan it. Um, there, again, there are some secret aisles I have not told you about, but eventually once you've gone through like Dollarama a dozen times, you'll figure, you'll figure them out because you'll have scanned so many things. And the ones that pop up restricted, those are the ones that, oh, let me go up this aisle because that one is crowded. So yeah, the restricted ones, the restricted products are usually the secrets. Find the restricted products and you'll unlock the secrets of selling high profit products in a low um, traffic area, meaning there won't be a lot of other Amazon FBA sellers in there. But you got to find those restricted products here. And then you got to get on gated for those restricted products. Another, cat another aisle I like to come up and down is the electronics aisle slash housewares. I don't know what this category is, light bulbs, home improvement, I guess. But light bulbs are actually a really good product to sell on Amazon. A lot of people don't realize that, but start selling stuff like these, these global kind of products. Now, keep in mind, the price tag is embedded. So with that, you gotta be creative. You gotta figure out which ones are not. So here's Philips, that is not. I bet you that sells for $15. There are some sets down here. But light bulbs are always a good category to sell in. These vintage looking ones, again, got that on there. So you gotta be creative, figure that out. But they come back and they sell well and they're really low ranked. Actual light bulb um, lights are really good. Lamps last year from Monsters Incorporated, was able to sell them for $25 each, bought them for $4, was able to get my hands on about 25. The inventory always changes in a Dollarama. That's what's unique about this place. So tools, I haven't had any success in tools. 
So I kind of stay away from the tools so far. I have found some unique license plate kind of brims. I don't know what they're called, but they're the actual brim around a license plate. Like skull ones, I found some unique ones like that. Like here's something unique, a draft blocker. That thing is huge. So it probably has some good value. Scan something like that. So right now we're just doing the eye test. I'm walking up and down the aisles. I'm trying to find products that look like they would sell well. And then what I would do normally was with my phone, I would scan them and see what they uh, are. Here's what I'm buying today, Pop-Tarts. I don't know how those sell. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comment section. I'll answer them right now. This is a Q&A. Just waiting for a few people to get into the chat here. Then I'll start answering questions. Wiper blades probably would do well. Armor all wiper blades. Those would do fairly well. So I've probably gone up and down Dollarama aisles a thousand times by now. I usually come to about eight locations where I am located and I usually hit them up at least two to three times per week. No, I told her that you, you mentioned. Uh, what other aisles are good? Sometimes the do-it-yourself aisles can be good. It's rare. But sometimes you can find stuff in the DIY aisles, you know, where you can get paints and you can get crafts. Sometimes you can find products in there that, you know, again, come on clearance. They buy a bunch of them. Like I got birdhouses last year, um, an Asteon TV birdhouse. It was in the do-it-yourself kind of, I guess you had to build it or whatever. Was able to get about 20 or 30 of them by going around to all the different uh, locations and was able to sell them for between $26 and $29. It was like $14 profit. Uh, so that was a good one. But I found that in the do-it-yourself section. Um, what else do we got here? Say hi if you're in the chat. Let me know. Hercules, nice to uh, nice to meet you, Hercules. Nice voice. I don't know what that means, but do I got a goofy voice or what? What else we got here? What is that? So that's unique. Two bucks. Some sort of letter kit. Um, what else do we got? I'm just going to show you things that uh, stand out to me. Some sort of globe orb. Three bucks. Now it's embedded, so that'd be an issue. But I'm creative. I know how to get around that. Okay. That kind of uh, hits everything here. There's some sort of Moda drapery rods. Four bucks for that. That might sell for 20 bucks. What else do we got? Let's turn it around. go down this aisle here see what we got so these things are super unique infinity line now they're competitive so sometimes you have to go through all the different ones to see which ones have some mock profit some pixar stuff these look like collectors a little bit that's pretty cool those might have some money in them <clears throat> i'm not a fan of selling dvds 
I do have some. They're slow movers for me. Uh, books, like I said, books. I'm always into books. I always scan the novels at the top. So those big novels, Whitney Houston, Tom Cruise, Neil Armstrong. Any of them come back with a 500K rank or less. Usually I'll pick them up. Sometimes you, you know, I, I will rank by blowing then once it's ranked I'll put the price back up to retail <clears throat> but there's always lots of books and sometimes you can find really good sellers in the book section you just gotta do give it a shot and try to launch recipe books are always good usually have a low ranking celebrity recipe books are even better Let me know if you have any questions. Hit me up in the chat section. <clears throat> I'm not a huge game fan. Puzzles, nah. I try to stay away from puzzles and games because they are um, slow movers. Not much interest online for them. Uh, I'm not a fan of the stationary section because there's not a lot of profit and a lot of the stationary that's in here well actually this place is an exception because they do use a lot of brand name stationary but they looks like they have this the brand name companies private label the products uh, i did crayola once that was an epic failure for a product it was one of my first retail average product <laughs> i think i lost my shirt, well, I didn't really lose my shirt, but I lost maybe 50 bucks blowing out my Crayola inventory. So, stay away from that. <clears throat> yeah. Cool. Okay, so what else? Weather aisles are really good, really hot. So oh, I'm looking up and down. I don't see a ton of stuff. I have a couple things in my cart I'm hiding from everybody because they are restricted and super hot. Automotive is always uh, a decent section. Usually you can find a few things in the automotive section that scan well or look like they have a higher perceived value. Um, tools, hardware, nah. Haven't really found much in this section so far in Dollarama. I've already been up this aisle. See what I mean? I'll go up and down aisles multiple times to see if I've missed anything. No stone unturned. see some products that uh, it's time for me to shop for I'm not gonna show you guys these finds now it's time for me to load up my cart and get out but I'll show you guys a little glance of that make sure you check me out on Facebook on Instagram and Twitter at coach Chris Specht. and if you have any questions hit me up there we'll chat and we'll get uh, get you started on your Amazon FBA journey <clears throat> 